it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another classic album review. And during the month of October, we're looking at the Rolling Stones magazines, some of their albums in their greatest albums of the decades. And we're going to look at the one that was at number six from the 1990s today. And the band was Pearl Jam. Now, one of the bands that came out of the Seattle in 1990 band lineup in 1990 founding members were Jeff Anment on the bass guitar, Stone Gossard on rhythm, Mike McCready lead guitar and Eddie Vedder on vocals and guitar Matt Cameron on drums and Broom Gasper joined on the keyboards they've been through a few changes, we are going to be doing a Pearl Jam full ranking at some stage and they've been considered one of the most influential bands of the decade and their debut album, 10, was number six in Rolling Stone's greatest albums of the 90s decades. Now, 10 uh, came out on the 27th of August 1999, 1991, sorry. And it followed the dissolution of their previous brand, Mother Love Bone, in 1991. It was Stone Gosser and Jeff and Ment began rehearsing with a new guitarist Mike McCready so playing on here is Jeff Ament on bass guitar Stone Gossard on rhythm we've got Dave Curson on drums Mike McCready on lead guitar acoustic and electric guitars on the live and Eddie Vedder on vocals so the first track on this album is called Once this is Dominated by Jeff's great bass line. Ah, oh. it's just drives the song on. And you've got this sort of gravelly Eddie's vocals. He's an interesting singer, is Eddie Vedder. But uh, this is it's so gravelly. It's a really good song. Really like this. Even flow. Now, this is probably one of the first tracks I heard by Pearl Jam. And I thought, wow, this is different. And it's nice to hear proper rock music, none of this smoothie stuff. Um, great vocal from from Eddie. Um, I just love this track. Always have. It's one of my favourite tracks by Pearl Jam. Then we get Alive. This is about the drumming here from Dave Curson. Uh, absolutely killer drumming on this. Some great riffs as well. It. it really is uplifting track why go um good track the solo on this is absolutely brilliant from mike mccready lots of wah wah pedal in there um and i love my wah wah and uh, that's why i like that track black again one of my favorite tracks on this album i think it was eddie's best vocal on the album for me um the solid Solid rock song. Just what you need. Uh, Jeremy. Another of um, Jeff's great bass lines. Very good bass player. The drums. I love how this one all builds up. Some great playing on here. Another good vocal from Eddie. Um, Oceans. Got some lovely guitar work here from... From Stone and Mike playing well together got that lovely two guitar sound working well there um, porch another great solo on this again the bass is great really raunchy I like that sort of sound garden it was so nice to hear dirty riffs and heavy bass lines after three or four years or of the horrible produ produced um, guitar solos um, great riffs just love that then we get probably one of my favourite tracks as well there's so many good tracks on the end that's the brilliant deep uh, solo again for Mike on this is just amazing um, definitely one of them great tracks of the 90s um, then we get release you get a nice bass line on here and then it sort of goes into this hidden track called Master 
slang. Very psychedelic. A little bit different. You've had this real heavy stuff and then you've got this psychedelic guitar effects. Really good track. Okay. What did the old, uh, what did the uh, people think about it? Oh, Some of us have talked with Rolling Stone. This was by Dave Frickle. And he praised him saying that Pearl Jam hurtles into the mystic at warp speed. He also added that Pearl Jam a ring a lot of drama out of a few decorative power chords swimming in echo. Alan Jones of Melody Major suggested in his review that it is Fedder that provides Pearl Jam with a, such a uniquely compelling focus. Q called it a raunchous modern rock spiked with infectious guitar motifs and power driving bass lines and drums, which I, I absolutely agree with. So what did the, what the music press give it? Well, all music gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, just like Boyenda did. Chicago Tribune gave it a 3 out of 4. Entertainment Weekly gave it a B-. minus. Mojo, which was a surprise, gave it a 4 out of 5. NME gave it a 5 out of 10. And Q gave it a 4. Rolling Stone Album Guide gave it a 4. Uncut gave it five stars and the village voice gave it a b minus did very well um even got to number 18 here in the uk it was just grunge was sort of on it this sort of grungy sort of rock music it was just in its infancy wasn't it got to number 18 here in the uk but number two in america went down a storm got to so it did very well Picked up a few um, discs as well. There's platinum two, two times here in the UK, seven times in Canada, three times platinum in Denmark, six times platinum in New Zealand, and eight times in Australia, but 13 times platinum in America. For me, though, this was an important album. We'd come out of the last three or four years of horrible production from rock, smoothie drums, horrible keyboard sounds, all geared for MTV. And then in Seattle, they had enough of this, and a long time bands like Pearl Jam and Nirvana and Alice in Chains to mention a few but to me this is probably one of the best and I still put this album o over Nirvana their debut album this is a great album it's full of energy it's heavy um, it's just one of the most important albums and it's an album that I really do like um, be interesting where this stands in my ranking, but it will be very high. I can tell you that. And you'll probably gather what my ranking for this album is. I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. There isn't a bad track on this album. It was just a breath of fresh air in music for me. Um, so there we go. Okay, one more show to do today. And it's a birthday top 10. And it's for me. Yes, it's my birthday. Um, and I'm going to be... Last year I looked at the, the, here in the UK. So I've decided this year I'm going to look at what was in the top 10 in America on the day I was born. There's some interesting tracks in that, I can assure you. So that's coming up a bit later. Um, so I'll see you for that later. Bye for now.